Don't you want your brand to be remembered? Of course you do because it helps you get more business, more profit, and keeps you relevant in the consumer's minds. Advertising tends to be the obvious solution to achieving this, but is it enough? To make your brand stand out from the clutter and become unforgettable, you need something that's unique, easily recognizable, and something your audience instantly connects to. Let's open it. Incidentally, uniqueness and connection are two hard boxes to tick. Usually, a brand image gets stuck with choreographed graphics and colors that might fail to create the right impact in the minds of your consumer. And that's where a character comes in. With the right appearance, presentation, and gestures, and most importantly, with a face-to-face -face conversation with your consumer, ticking those tricky boxes can become so much more easy. Take the example of Corny, the famous rooster that changed the retail game. Nothing gets you crowing in the morning like the crisp corn taste of Kellogg's Corn Flakes. For more than 100 years now, Kellogg's mascot was able to reserve the top spot in breakfast cereal brands, with over $14,000 billion in revenue. That's crazy! But true, the Kellogg's Rooster actually turned the stale morning breakfast into a viable good reason to wake up every morning. Remember Pillsbury's Doughboy with its super cute characteristics? Or the Duracell Bunny with endless energy? What about Geico's chief spokesperson, their mascot, Gecko, or Zuzu's from Vodafone? Case in point, a well-established character can give your brand an opportunity to leave a strong impact on your target audience. Planet have been looking for a savior. 90% of people. So rise and shine, friend. It's time to give your brand a face. Here's what you got to do. First off, choose the type of character that makes sense for your business and can evoke an emotional response from your audience. Here are a few examples. If you're looking to pull more attention, go for a stylized character like Mike Wazowski. Its offbeat shape and features make the movie a delight to watch and quite popular with the masses. <laughs> it's adjustable. <sighs> Whereas stick figures are the simplest and often the best choice to communicate ideas. They are straightforward and can never go out of style. Oh, I just got started drinking. But I, I need to sober up before. On the same hand, a relatable character would help you connect to your target audience instantly and make them resonate with your brand a little more than usual. Already made up your mind? Awesome! The next step is to define your character's backstory. Is he a teenager from Chino or a cop from the fictional world of Gotham? Think of details like age, gender, location, or profession. Note down your character's likes, dislikes, motivations, and goal. Anything at all that helps you in giving your character its own identifiable personality. Ready? Good! Step three is to decide the archetype of your character. Here's the list of 12 common archetypes. Pick a personality description that works best for you. Check out the M&M characters. All of them have their own unique personalities. Well, it's our job to change that. Step four, visualize the physical appearance of the character. Surely it needs to depend on the character's personality and background. I don't know. It's probably not important. Whoa, I have access to the entire curse word library. This new console is done. Sorry, I did it again. For instance, if your product is a baby diaper and you decide to make your hero look pudgy and round, then your audience may perceive the product as soft and fluffy. Take the example of 7-Up's Fido Dido, who appeared in a trendy look and had a laid-back attitude, therefore immediately liked by youth for his open-mindedness and unconventional take on life, just like its target audience. And then finally, set your character's mood by observing what you wish for your audience to feel about the brand. Your character's pain may be meant for the audience to laugh and enjoy. That was all about it. You have now found a fertile ground for your brand to grow and reach out to consumers who can't afford to give more than a few seconds of attention. So get moving fast, deploy those matchmakers, define the personality, and may you find the right match. Good luck.